<laughs> hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Chris Chu. <laughs> Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, in today's video, I'm going to be teaching guys how to pose your friends who are not models. I'm not friend today. <laughs> I have six tips for you guys and we'll be going through them as uh, the video progresses. So, see you guys throughout the entire video. Wah! Tip number one is to show the pose yourself. Now, this is probably the simplest and the most cohesive one because you probably have the concept in your mind and it's much easier to show the model yourself like how to do the pose. Like you can have them mirror you or you can like just stand right next to them and choreograph them the entire time instead of just using words like to put their hands on their hip and to lean this way. You can just show them with your own body. Compared to giving them a pose where they'll be locked in and static, there's nothing wrong with that at all. Providing them with a more liberal direction will give them a more organic shape and more like natural looking poses instead of like the more like locked in jagged shape. In this example, I told Cynthia that she's a very unamused runway model and I think she killed it. Next up is the hands. Now, this is the bane of most portrait photographers and most photographers in general. What do we do with the hands? It's probably one of the most awkward things to take care of besides like the facial expression and the eyes. So with hands, I would say add an action with accessories. You could play with the glasses, you could play with the jewelry, or you can even have them stuff it in a pocket. All right, one hand in the pocket. Two, two in the pocket, two in the back, two in the front, one in the front. One in the front and back. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Tip number four is great because you're using the environment to help you with this shoot. Instead of like posing the entire body, you can even like start to truncate some of it with some trees or with some concrete walls or any kind of natural framing. And you can even like tone the posing back down because now the environment is playing a role in the photos and you can relax on kind of coming up with another pose for your model. Oh, didn't see you there. <laughs> Turn down just a little bit. Oh, wait, do that hair swoop again. Three, two, one. Woo! Number five kind of strays away from posing and addresses more of the picture as a whole. In this case, we went with a more summery outfit. The Birkenstocks, the light blue mom jeans, and the button up that's tied up at the bottom. I feel like it went really well with the deserty vibe of the Arizona cactus garden. And whenever you want to go out on a shoot, and you're like posing your friends or even an actual model, you would want the outfit to kind of match the environment. It doesn't really make sense to shoot in this Arizona cactus garden and to have them wear like a blazer, um, powerful suits or whatever. It just, it just wouldn't match. It would clash. And watch out for patterns as well. You don't want the patterns of any kind of clothing clashing with the background as well. And last but not least, sunglasses help a whole lot. They're kind of like an unsung hero in a lot of portrait sessions that I've done. It really takes care of um, the eyes so that you don't have to always direct like where they have to look. It even helps your friend or your subject develop some confidence by hiding behind the sunglasses because it's one less thing you have to worry about, right? And behind sunglasses, you could feel a lot more cooler, a lot more, mm, more assertive. So sunglasses help a whole lot. And that's another accessory that you could play around with to take care of the hands. All right, ladies and gentlemen, those are the quick tips that I have for you guys for posing your friends who are not models. Hopefully you guys can implement that soon. Make sure you like the video, subscribe, and leave a comment down below, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.